Are you getting everything or are you getting me? I, I'm trying. I can't Come see. I can't see what I'm looking at. What's going on guys and gals? My name's Sean. And if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. Now, I know you saw that thumbnail. And I know last video I told you we had to start with the body. So that's enough flip flapping. Let's make it happen. Now as you can see inside the switch cavity, where they hit it with the hammer, it pushed it in really bad. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some glue in there. Yep, I'm going to saturate that with glue. That's a little plug Kathy cut me. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome. I'm going to put that down in there like that. You see on the other side? I'm going to put this piece of metal across here. Because it's not flat with where it got dented. You see that? Rest in peace, Billy. He made that for me. I'm just going to take this little simple clamp. Put it down in there. come back and check that in a minute while this is drying we're gonna come over here and we're gonna dress this giant split in the body right here it goes all the way through the body Brad showed it in his little section of the video but if you're like me you do this all the time you've got what I call the opener upper 5,000 and you just open her up yep I'm going to grab these old channel locks here. Give it a couple really nice good turns. We'll get that thing opened up good like that. Just going to scoop some glue up. Let it run down in that crack real good. Because it will. It will run down in there. If I keep feeding it. Gravity will take care of it. Now that I got that glue running in there real good put a clamp on here because I'm going to stick this in here and I can really pull it open let that wood glue get on in there because it does it needs to go on way in there It's going to be good enough. Yeah, I think that's going to be good enough. <laughs> a lot of glue squeezing out from everywhere. That's a good sign. That's what we want. Let's let that sit. We'll go ahead and clamp this while we wait on the other part of the body. Got to get some glue under there. Get some glue under here. And some under here. Again, we'll let gravity take its course for a few seconds. Let's go ahead and clamp this down right here. And we'll clamp this one down here.
she's filling the fret ends in case you're wondering because we nipped the tang on these. Yeah, filling in those little fret grooves on the side of the neck after you get done filing these frets. It really makes it much smoother to play. Let's see what we got. Not as bad as you thought it was, is it?
Now that headstock might not be exactly perfect, but it's close enough for me. But I don't think splitting that right there, gluing it onto this other one, is going to work out too good. So we're probably going to have to come up with a better plan here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Since I got this old material for the headstock too. I even got the little gold leaf if we want to put it on there. Now hang on just a dang minute there, Sean. You know, I've been thinking uh, it would be cool to have Gibson back on that headstock maybe in one way, but in another way it's not cool because you know what? They disowned that guitar when they threw it away and had Guitar Center beat it up with a hammer. So I don't think Gibson deserves its name on that headstock anymore. So if you want to put something else on there, man, I'm all for it. You see that, you see that Gibson right there, Sean? You see that Gibson? That Gibson right there is from 1955. You see that Gibson right there? That Gibson is from the 1960s, early 1960s. You see all these Gibson amplifiers? That Gibson, that Gibson, all these Gibsons. That's a Gibson too, that's from the 30s. All these Gibsons, what they have in common, that Gibson, right, this Gibson guitar right here, that Gibson amp right there, all these Gibsons, that Gibson amp, all this stuff, man. Gibson, Gibson, Gibson. You know what all these have in common is that those suckers are old, and that's when Gibson, in, in my estimation, had a little bit more self-respect than they do right now. Like I said, you put whatever you want on that guitar, man. That's just fine with me. Now, y'all hear what he said? He's singing my song. Yeah, I didn't think it deserved no Gibson logo either. Let's do something cool. Now, even though I have the correct material to go on this headstock, Brad said I can do what I want, and I think it'll look better with some rosewood. A little bit of hot glue go a long way on CNC. Yeah, that's looking a lot better there, I'm thinking. I think we can work with that just fine. <laughs> now, I'm thinking that's what we want right there. It's looking pretty dang good. Now, it ain't glued on there. Nothing's lined up right. It's just on there. But let's make that happen.
Now we play the waiting game. I thought I got a bunch of killer footage of me sanding this guitar body, the Bondo and everything off of it, and reshaping it again. But obviously, Kathy don't know how to hit the record on the camera. What? Your camera work sucks, Kathy. Oh, you don't like it? Why don't you get you a monkey and train him to do it then? Now to really replicate where the holes for the tuning machines go, it's probably just best if we just clamp the headstock on the new one and use that. Probably help us prevent tear out the way I have it on here. Let's see. Once you see the pine, you're good to go. See what we're working with here. See if we screwed anything up. It's good to me. Scarred, baby. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it. This video is getting pretty long. 
But listen, I know some of you guys were hoping we'd restore this guitar back to its former glory or whatever. But Gibson lost their chance when they threw this thing in the dumpster. I think it looks better like that anyway. <laughs> now the only reason we're not jamming this guitar right now is because I'm waiting on the parts to get here. Yeah, I'm talking about the hardware, tailpiece, all that stuff's coming from Stumac. But let me show you what I got that's going in it. Yeah, we're gonna bring this bad boy to life. I got some goodies. <laughs> Straight from Seymour Duncan. 78 model humbuckers. Those are Eddie Van Halen's pickups. <laughs> oh, we got genuine Gibson Deluxe tuners going on here. That's a bone nut. Yeah, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. But this video's getting awfully long. Now, I really appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, don't you touch my scarred Les Paul. Don't you touch my scarred